Welcome to another edition of the Flex Rental Solutions How-To Videos. Today we're going to be going over our new task element in the system and reviewing the new changes to our to-do list tab. Previously in our system we had a pending follow-ups area that was dedicated to contact follow-ups. And we wanted to expand this functionality to not assign it to just a customer, but also be able to add these tasks to specific elements or just uh, generic tasks that are assigned. So the changes that we've made are we have a new element that we've created called a task. Very similar to something, say, like an event folder, but it just has an assigned to person. It can have workflow and dates and things like that. And so it uses all the same configurations as other elements. So if we go under projects, project elements, you'll see that there is a new task element. There we can give it names. We can give it icons. We can say whether we want to be able to copy it or move it. Same sort of configuration as in other elements. And one of the main functionalities that we've added is the ability to assign this element. We've created workflows, statuses, all the functionalities such as that that exist in other areas in the system. So to start a new task, you can either assign it directly in a element by going to new, new task, and giving it a name. And we can give it a start date or a need by date. All these are configured in your system. And we can add some notes. But from here, everything relates basically back to the format that we use in the rest of the system. With this assigned set to yes, there's the ability to click and add and assign this will list all the users that are in the system. So as a example, if we go to system settings and go to users, these are all the users that we have in the system. And if we go back to assign here, it gives this exact same list. And you'll notice that Devin currently has one active task. So as you start assigning these tasks out, you'll see how many tasks this certain user has as you assign them. So if you see Devin has 20 tasks and Chris Stein has none, you may want to think about giving another task to Devin as an example. So Devin doesn't have enough work to do, so I'm going to give him this assigned task. So now if you'll notice, if we go to reassign it, Devin has two assigned tasks. We can clear the assigned user, or we can simply reassign it, things like that. We have some workflows that we've created that are defaulted. One of them is called Request a Task. Under Projects and Workflow, you'll see we have a new task workflow. When a task is um, created, it can launch a different uh, task request. We can create workflow jobs that send out emails to specific people. We have a task request workflow or workflow job created, one of the new features that we added is the ability to change the to address to the assigned person in there. So that's one functionality that's very helpful now. And on that new task created, when we hit request task, it will now process that and send it to the assigned person. So if we request a task, 
Now it's automatically going to be sent to Devon. So that'll send that email off to Devin requesting the task and new workflows, Devin could decline it or accept it, things like that. Now, if we go back to the to-do list tab, by default, this to-do list only shows your tasks. If you're looking for all the tasks created on the bottom left, you can show it who all the tasks that are assigned. So these are the two tasks that are assigned to Devin. If I open this up, I can assign it back to me. And if we go to the to-do list, and with that, it just shows my tasks. We can also sort by different columns by due dates, assigned to, things like that. We have COG workflows here that we can open it, delete it, assign it to a user from here, or mark it as complete. We have some customers who are simply just looking for a task assigned and task completed, where it's basically either active or completed. Other people want to use workflow to enable um, more communication in the system. As in all elements, there's also the ability to go to say projects and tasks to do uh, the same list based functionality in the system. But as you log in, if we were to refresh this whole page, This is our calendar. This is our to-do list. These are everything that are assigned to you. And again, if we want to show all users, that would then enable that to view all users. We have kept the functionality to set up pending follow-ups with contacts. So as an example, if I go to clients, and open up April, and I go to correspondence log, I could enter a new log and say, and say I wanna follow up with her with the email, and I need to follow up on May 1st, and hit okay. If I go back to my to-do list, this correspondence log shows up also in the to-do list. So we've combined this area to show follow-ups and tasks. We can also make tasks child elements to other elements. The way you make sure that's configured is under say projects, project elements, if we want to assign tasks to quotes, you'd go to project, project elements, quotes, child elements, and we can enable tasks as a child element to a quote. So with that configured, you will be able to add a task as a child element to this specific quote. And we can say, um, uh, make CAD drawing and say when we need it by as an example. And we can assign that to Devin. So now as part of this quote, you have a child task called make CAD drawing. Seeing that we are viewing this for all people, it is associated right here. These are my only two items on my to-do list. Items that are past due, you'll see show up in red here. 
So that is the basic functionality with tasks. We'll be looking at expanding further functionality down the road. We hope this helps you communicate better with your internal users in the system and get your tasks completed on time. If you have any questions, please send those to support at flexrentalsolutions.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.